Well, your air conditioning is going to get a little bit of a break here, especially during the overnights. I had someone tweet me to say thank you for your forecast because they, we had, they've had such a hard uh, time sleeping at nighttime because they don't have that air conditioning and the mugginess is in play. But we are seeing a cold front literally on our doorstep. So this is sort of the wide shot right now. I'll draw on the cold front and then I'm going to zoom down in and show you what is just ahead of that cold front and we are seeing some heavy downpours uh, even some lightning the dark gray here in the lightning indicates it's uh, probably about 15 20 minute old lightning but it definitely is there and these are heading in this direction so Burlington Oakville Hamilton into some of those heavy downpours right now this is the last of it after this we're going to be dry for the rest of the night. Not a good thing. We need some rainfall, but we don't want these two, three minute heavy downpours. I mean, most of our seven millimeters of rain fell in the first five days of the month. TR means trace amounts. And that puts us again, seven millimeters. It could be the driest on record. The driest, go back to 1949. We had 9.4 millimeters of rain. So if we don't get 2.5 millimeters of rain before the end of the month, this will be the driest May on record at Pearson. All right, tomorrow morning, here's what we're looking at. A little bit of cloud cover increasing throughout the day, so it's a sunny start, increasing cloud. Watch that moisture starting to make its way in from the west, and it's out of here. So it literally has a good chance, this system, of completely bypassing Toronto eastward and just kind of hitting Burlington, Oakville, Grimsby, St. Catharines. The blues here are some of the heavier rainfall amounts. Now, Again, we're going to keep an eye on this because if it pushes just a little bit more to the east, we'll get some more rainfall into uh, more of the central and eastern parts of the GTA. So you may want to plan some outdoor activities or some indoor activities, by the way, on Friday morning. And the patio outlook, maybe bring in those patio cushions on Friday, but by uh, Saturday you can leave them. Follow me on Twitter, at City Natasha, because I know they're going to tell me they're going to cut me right now. 12 degrees on Friday. I'm going to tweet out this seven-day forecast right now. So on Twitter, at City Natasha.